Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABN Graphics. If you are new to this channel, can you subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification so anytime I upload a video, you get it right away. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. Uh, may God help us all. Today, we are just going to learn how to do a web binder a design in Photoshop. On this particular web binder design, um, a whole lot of people can ask you to do that uh, with regards to e commerce website, you know, when you are selling online and those kind of things. So if you are able to do this or if you are able to learn this very well, you can also do that in in your next project. You see that? Yes. So let's just go to Photoshop just like this and let's create that particular one. It depends on that kind of particular web banner size that you are going to use. So on this particular web banner size, I'm just going to use 10 by 5 inches so that I can wrap up with my work. You get that yes so i'll have it something like this and then when it's up here i'm just going to have over here 10 i'll have here 10 and then i'll have here five you get that yes and then i'll just call it web b that's web binder and then i'll just have it just like that and i'll have these things just like that but for the sake of this thing, i'm just going to have it eight bits so that i'll have my work uh, very faster so i'll create a new distance just like that yes so for now that is what we are going to have for the first thing for the for my document that i just created and then when i uh, flip to my resources uh, files over here as you can see it over here that's my resources files and these are the files that i'm going to use for that and then when i open up this particular this thing you can also see the information that should be that should be on that particular web banner so let's come back the first thing i'm going to do is to create my background before i go over to do anything so i'm just going to add a gradient map to, to that so i'm just going to click on adjustment layer over here then i'll come and click gradient then when i click on gradient i'll click on my gradient this thing and then i'll check through to find any gradient that is uh good for that particular this thing and then i'll just use that so i'm doing, i'm just going to use this particular gradient over here and that would look so beautiful for me and then i'll try and flip it just like that and then this one should go this particular place in this way i think this one uh, having it this way is okay for me for now so i can have it just like that the next thing again i'm going to do again is to hook, head over to file then i click on place a link and then placing a link i'm just going to place that particular link uh, sorry that particular image i'm just going to import in an image over there just like that on this particular image that i'm just going to do what to put in in that particular distance and the next thing i'm going to do is to change the blinding mode to what to soft light and then i can have it just like that and then i'll try and move it somewhere here that will be okay for me and the next thing again i'm going to do is to go over again and then i'll import in another image which is that and this particular image i'll just leave it somewhere here but the next thing i'm going to do is to right click and rasterize it and then the down one so i'll rasterize that one so that i won't have so much issues when i'm going to drag it so i can have it just like that and then i'll just have it just like that and i'll i'll move it a little bit down i think that won't be okay then i'll have it just like that over there and then i'll move it to the sector just like that you get that yes so the next thing again i'm going to do over the particular distance is that i'm just going to have something like this uh let's say let me have something like this over here just like that it's just a draw something i just draw and when i draw it this is just a technique i'm, doing, I'm going to show you and i'll right click in and right stylize it when i right stylize it i'll go to filter then i'll come to blur then i'll move to what uh motion blur and i'll click on motion blur and when i click on motion blur this is what i'm going to have over there and then i'll just decide and and make my angle let's say zero and then let me move it move it again and then i'll try and just move it around and then so that i'll get the correct distance that i supposed to use over there let me see 43 angle 43 so i think angle 42 will be okay for me for what i uh, i want to use over here so i think that one will be okay and then when that one is done when the filter processing is done what i need to do is to move it down and then i'll do anything to yes so i think this one is done so i'm just going to move it down and then the next thing i'm going to do is to just check through so that i can just do something on that yes i'll just leave it at the this particular place uh leaving it uh okay i think this one is okay if soft light will be okay for me then i can have it just like that over there you get that yes so the next thing i'm going to do is to go over here and then i'll copy it super 
and then when i copy super i'm just going to have it somewhere here and then i'm just going to do what to paste it over there just like that and the next thing again i'm going to do is to pick the saver month yes super saver month you see the english over there then i can have it just like that and i'm going to do what i'm going to save that one to, i'm going to paste that one too over there and then what i need to do over here is that i'm just going to zoom it out so that you can see what i'm doing and i'll move it to somewhere here and then i'll give out a guideline so that i can be working towards the guideline and then i can have it just like that and then um i'll make this one a boulder and then this one this particular this one i'm just going to reduce the size a little bit so that it will go in a just like that and then i can have it just like that and then let me increase the size a little bit just like that and then over there i'll just make it regular i don't want that one to be too distant for me you get that yes so the next thing again i'm going to do is to pick um is to pick this particular this one over there so that it should just be in line yes and i'll have this one too and then i'm just going to do what i'm just going to paste that one to over here just like that and then when i have it just like that i'm just going to do what i'm just going to increase the size a little bit so that it will move up uh to show up very very well for me and then i will have it just like that you get that and then next thing i'm going to do is to make it bolder so that it can appear on people's eyes as they see that you get that so i'll just have it just like that and the next thing again i'm going to do over here is to come and pick um available on available on where on jumia so when you get to jumia you can get all this product and buy so i'm just going to put it over there so i'll just have a something like this over here and then i'm just trying to make it like just like that and then i'll make it regular and then i'll reduce the size to somewhere 12 i think that won't be okay for me and then i'll make sure that i place it somewhere here and the next thing again i'm going to do is to go over and then i'll just drop that particular uh this thing youtube uh sorry sorry for that uh i'll just drop the jumia logo and this is what the jumia logo looks like and then i'll just drop it somewhere here and i'll move it to the down very small one just like that and i can have it just like that and then i'll right click and do what and rasterize it so that i won't be moving it with uh, this kind of rasterize this thing uh smart object this thing sorry i can have it just like that and then the, these two these things i'm just going to lock the tab so that i can work with my distance without any problem you see that so i can pick up this particular distance and i'll move it somewhere here and then the next thing i'm going to do is to draw up this particular distance just like that and then i'll have it just like that and then i'll move it to the down so that it will the distance will appear very well over there and then i can have something like this over here and then I'll, i'm just going to select all and then i'll move it a little bit so that it will just be in line with this one and then this one will also be somewhere here and i think this will be okay okay for me then i can have it just like that and then i'll have it just like that and then the next thing again i'm going to do over here is that i'm just going to move this one a little bit okay and the next thing again i'm going to do is to pick my rectangular tool over here then i'll just draw something like that uh, something like a button you get that it's just look, going to look like something like a button then i'll have it just like that you get that i can just have it just like that and the next thing again i'm going to do over here is that i'm just going to go in i'm just going going to pick this particular this thing up to 30 percent uh, 35 percent off so it means that they have given a discount of 35 or let's say yes so you can get all that very very affordable without wasting much of your time and i can have it just like that and then let me have it just like that you get that and then i'll make that one to gold and then i'll zoom it out and let's do this work together so over this particular distance i'm just going to copy that one and then when i copy that one i'm just going to paste it somewhere here just like that and the next thing again i'm going to do over here is that i am just going to copy it uh cut the the off over there from the 35 percent and then i'll have it just like that and that one should be somewhere there and then i'll move i'll let that one to come somewhere here it's okay and this one should be somewhere here i think that one too is okay and then on this particular distance the 35 percent i'm just going to increase the size so that it will be very bigger uh just like that okay and then i can have it just like that yes in that i think that one is cool so the next thing i'm going i'm going to do is to check around all my files if there is no anything again as you can see there's nothing that i have to do over there so that one is okay so i cannot come back to my distance and just go over and then i finish up my distance so 
Oh, uh, the button I'm just going to group all in one this thing grouping it just like that and then I'll just have it just like that and then this particular distance available on and I'll just group that one too and now I can call it available on so that if I can I, can, I won't have any problem through all that you get that and then all this I'll just group it and then I'll call it what text okay I'll just call it text and then I can have it just like that and all this uh all this should be what should be the background so bg and then over this particular this one will be what image yes as you can see is if you are able to organize your work very well on this thing so you have files that are too small it's found that that are not many you can just have let's say one two three four five all the five files and i'm able to get this you get that yes so you can have it just like that and then you can do what you can save your work thank you very much for watching this is abn graphics and have a nice day bye bye